All right, so I've done a ton of reviews where I've actually said something positive about a game. Well, I've got a little bit of a different tilt for today's review. Have you guys ever had a game that you like and you kind of adore and you kind of have fun with, but it's well known that it is god-awful, that there's not many redeeming qualities to it, and the number one question that comes when someone sees that game well, is why? Why the hell do you have this? But it turns out being your guilty pleasure. Well, you guys want to know what my guilty pleasure is? At least for this, for the purposes of this review. WCW Backstage Assault for the PlayStation. Well, here we go. Alright, one of the biggest gripes I got with this game so far is this. Look, I'm down for having to earn and unlock characters the old-fashioned way. But there's such a thing as earning them and then having me run around and do busy work. Now, you notice it on your screen that about half the roster is gone from uh, the start. Well, you have to unlock most of them in Hardcore Gauntlet or Hardcore Challenge Mode. Say you want to play as Brett the Hitman Heart or Ray Ray. Well, for Brett's case, you have to go through the Hardcore Gauntlet five damn times who in their right mind wants to play this game more than once is beyond me but five times no that's that's damn near cruel and unusual punishment like i i can stomach something like this where i have to go back and do these ladders over and over again if the game was good but notice the operative word there if and it ain't and as for the controls, mother of God, can you spell jank? Can you say jank? J-A-N-K, jank. Look, the control scheme in and of itself isn't awful. It's kind of a bastardized version of the N64 wrestling game controls just translated into PS1. That in and of itself isn't bad. But when I can count the seconds, it feels like there's a second and a half. Between me pressing a button to grapple and someone actually moving to grapple. It is a sluggish control scheme. It is a clunky control scheme. And boy howdy, it gets on your nerves after every time you try and grapple someone, they're already ready to punch you in the face, thus breaking up the animation. Lord help me. And speaking of those animations, what? What in the hell was that? All, I can't name or number all the times that I saw that my wrestler was hitting someone over the head with a trash can only for them to just, only for the person getting hit to no-sell it because, oh, I'm in the middle of my animation. Buddy, I'm invincible. I don't give a good goddamn what you do. It's absurd. And I mean, most, a couple of wrestling games do that in order to let you get up. But this game takes it to a damn extreme. And you know, normally I don't say anything about graphics, you know, unless it's bad. Well, guess what I'm about to talk about now, folks? Graphics. Take a look at Booker T right here. He looks dehydrated. Look at how they massacred my boy. Like, I don't know if it's because of all the stuff that's in the arena, quote unquote, that are that with all the weapons and all the stuff going on that they had to lower the poly count of the wrestler i don't understand why they look this ugly it at one point you can understand that this looks like a really good atari jaguar game it's that damn ugly folks and to an extent it's an affront to your eyes and i can understand this being one of the few times that graphics plays a part in somebody not wanting a damn thing to do with this game now, why have I gone through all these links of slander in this game for about five minutes now, and I haven't gotten to the part of why I say that this is a guilty pleasure? Well, the reason why it's a guilty pleasure is, in short bursts, and if you don't try and really sit down and play it, play it, it's fun. If you don't play it as a wrestling game, I need to add that as well, which is inherently a problem. I understand that. Playing a wrestling game as a non-wrestling game is 
It defeats the purpose. I get it. But sometimes it's it's just it hits the spot of just wanting to wail on somebody until they're knocked out cold. And if you think it's fun for a it's fun for a 15 minute burst. But then you add a second controller. You add a second player. You and a buddy for a couple hours on end just wail on each other relentlessly and just do the most absurd stuff while laughing at how absurdly bad this game is. And uh, this game is a microcosm of WCW in 2000. And there you go. At the end of the day, that precisely is why it's a guilty pleasure. Good lord, it's bad. But there's some fun to be had. So I just did a review of this damn game in the year of our lord 2022. If you watch this far, I really thank you guys for sticking with me, and I appreciate y'all watching. If you want to subscribe, go ahead. I also do Twitch streams if you'd like to enjoy those four times a week. So that's also explaining why these reviews don't come out as often. I'm Danny DeMonica, and I'll see you guys in the next review. Take care, and good night, everybody.